Shala. Now, on the program today, we speak to UBNB National Youth uh, Chairperson, Rupert Deswaniso. Now, Mr. Deswaniso joins me to discuss the plight of young people as the new dawn government clocks one year in office this August. So at this point, allow me to welcome my guest on the program. Uh, Mr. Deswaniso, good morning and welcome to the Hot Seat Radio Program. Good morning. Good morning. All right, so how's the first good morning? Okay. On Tuesday. On Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. Oh, yeah. Tuesday morning. Okay. Okay. So I'll just ask as we go on with this conversation, if you can just get closer to the mic. Uh, we really want to hear what you have to say uh, this morning as we touch on uh, very important issues. Now the show is also live on Pluto FM, that is 93.3 in Osaka, as well as uh, Kanele FM 97.7 in Gondazi, which is in the Eastern Province. Now getting straight into it, uh, Mr. Deswane, so um, on the 24th of this month, August, uh, President Daka Ndechilena and the new Dawn government clock uh, one year in office. Um, one year on, how would you say the UBND uh, youth win, or rather, how would you, as the UPND youth wing, describe the performance of the party uh, in government? Thank you very much, Rob. Uh, in the short period of the government, uh, number one, we the most concerned and then came to the fact that uh, we need, number one, to ensure that uh, the right way is being constructed. Most of them have been visited, and of course, they have been very I will tell you all that uh, we are happy that uh, the issue of the freedom is uh, the freedom is protected. This kind of freedom we are among ourselves. And uh, the way the youth, the youth union, members who support the youth union, the way they are demonstrated, the way they are taking issues, it's really amazing. And I can't imagine that we are in this country called Zambia. One year ago, all of us were waiting in sickness and then the radio station was being ambushed, uh, being attacked in the, uh, the bus stations, were not there, the radio barrier. All, all these attacks were there. But after winning an election, our president aligned with them, gave us direction, all of us, especially to us, the poor soldiers of the country, I mean, to us, the young who were being tortured, who were being hammered left and right, who were denied the opportunity to have to give us the message to say that it's time to make a sub, no time to revenge, no time to beat anybody, but just let us come now and make a new foundation for this nation. Because this nation belongs to us, the young people, and most of this country. And all of us behave in the direction of the country of North Africa. Despite that, also we, especially the Indian Nationalist Channel, together with the Nationalist Channel, the districts, the constituents, the world at large, we came together. The beasts you are seeing today, this is all the kind of perspective of man and we engage each other to ensure that no one is being hurt, no one is being victimized, but all of us will be one soul for peace, freedom, limits, and ones and the and uh, the journey of that, uh, I was told. The journey of even being out in Kadazi, the Kadarism in the bus station and everything, it is us in this, among ourselves. Think you ask for it. I know people may say, what are you talking about? It's nothing to do with the police, because it is us who understand the torture. And it is us who went through that. It was, I know, simply need to change the way. There are some things. Issues is to show you it is us showing the leadership. Now, what I'll tell you is that it's not only with me, but there are people also in other institutions who are being victimized all over the country. Being teachers, staff, everywhere, in the media, the most one, but we have tried to perform this to ensure that all of us at this point are so. Because the environment today, we have seen that even in this person, that's why in the environment of Opposition are speaking in the media. That's what we want you to do. So that we can check some balances, check the working 
and you did me to the spoke of this. The young people who is angry, who had the talent to participate in politics. And by the ten years with Udo Gaudis, Gaudala, the young people, they did participate, they were scared. So those ideas, those talents, they didn't do the same. But today I can tell you, I'm still the little young people coming in for different places. And I've said to them, even within youth and outside youth, view this environment for showcasing leadership. No applause. Hope you know that every section, even me, kilometers of our groups of young people, wait a rising group. Every section, wherever they stay across the country, for five, ten weeks, who are feared by the community. I look at them. To others, even in the bus, people cannot talk about the work that they are doing, but they will take you from the, the bus driver, the conductor will do that, take you some to work But the day in the bus, people are people that are serious and they want to make a difference. And this is the way we want to get the improvement. It's because we need to allow people to speak their mind. That's why we need to see people to get the skills. If we don't do that, we will so leave the young people to not be invested in one way which is very important. It's not easy. I want to tell you, and I want to tell you, you the team, we are still bitter because we want to improve. At the end of the day, if that's down, if they have done more than what they have done in the two, if they have killed the more, at the end of the world in the history of this country, they will waste great of those things through us now. So on that one, we can then, we are sorry to be bitter people. Not that we are cowards. Again, we have reminded our colleagues that don't provoke us because we know ourselves to show them. Even in this, sometimes I get scared very soon because I understand the challenges of the young people. They are living with somebody active. They are living with somebody who is short in their ability in school. These people are still there. But because they are trying their own way to say, can you start a new life for us? We can't continue to live in the for 50 years. Now we have a why can't we support him? We, the young people across the country, have concentrated building the economy of this country so that uh, our enemy as a nation, that is called us, at the high levels of employment, let him focus on those things. That's why we're not going to be in place of the recovery of the but target for the young men. Okay? Uh, I've seen people are trying to misunderstand Kagarism and Kagas. Kagas are there, and Kagas will be there. Because these are the people who present to us at any level. What we have refused is to harass if we can serve them for that one. We hear you, we send you a word. That's the way we are behaving among us. And we are not just pissed off at the police. We just excuse them to say, what has they got to do the need to do? Now, if we have to look at the performance of the Medjava, obviously, um, um, Many Zambians will have different opinions, you know, on the performance of the new dawn. But obviously we can't ignore uh, the promises that were made. And obviously there are some who cast, you know, their votes for the UPND based on those promises that we made. So when it comes to, um, you know, changing or bettering the lives of Zambians based on the promises that, you know, uh, were made, where do you think you have spoke? First of all, where do you think government has spoke? First of all, it comes to you, first of all, Good governance is important. It's an achievement. I believe it should be done. Our faith and our training is on the same thing that ties the people together. Okay? People today are happening to their own protest. It's happening in this country. It never happened before. No tear is a protest. We have achieved that in our life. We have we promised that we're going to fight corruption. Okay? That was the promise we made. And we made it very clear that when we form government as we do, we are not going to run to that form. There's nothing to cry to say that is not is made. That was the promise we made to people, right? And so that government are who come, that's what we gave the people. There's nothing to feel simple because part of the promise we made. So that you have government are who come, meaning there's something you are making for people. That's what we promised the people. Number two, one of us who say they are going to be Years, a lot of young people, a lot of young people, do not afford to take a few years. But I find the 
sort of people say that the people who wanted to be this idea are not with them. But when there is an idea in the heart, it takes the issues of and that is a good thing. Don't be jealous about it. Papa George, Papa Mrs. Jacqueline. How are you? I think you never know how I am in school. And you are hoping to support your city. And you don't. You are more than you push up and go. Now, hey, this time, you are in school. Now, now on, yeah. on, on that, on free education, obviously. Uh, that also has been received with mixed reactions. There are some, uh, just hope that some who feel, well, uh, you should have taken time, you should have done your homework, mm -hmm. you should have made sure the desks are there, mm -hmm. you should have made sure there's enough teachers. And also, um, there are some also feeling, listen, look look at the cost of living right now. Mm -hmm. uh, transport, that child, you're saying it's free education, mm -hmm. but we are paying a lot of money for this child to get to school, mm -hmm. for food, how much are we paying? Let me tell you also. Yes. We need to understand that when there's an opposition, they call the discount. You have to look up. Now, the president and his team are all the discount. So, we've got here, but there are certain things that don't cheat. Okay, we have really not placed this thing. Just let that be. Those people of our opinion, the official of our opinion, the opinion of the opposition, we agree. All of us will meet. This short period that will be done. It's a first step, first of all, to say the education goes. Not in a second statement. Yes, just a little bit. The government is not working. We cannot come up with a policy, something which cannot go into the end. It is step by step. Just get a little That's why people say those people have to pay. They have to buy the policy. And again, I want to tell you that if we are going, let's wait and do well now. Make a police on which education will require people. Let the young people, the children, work with almost and the school in the end. But we are needed a place of Africa on a ladder, as I can put it, education in the end. But the one who has been child now, as I was going to put the first time we are in the school, despite the economy being declining. President is looking to just for the city. It's this, in the market in this country, people are poor. To ensure there's potential of investment in this country, but the young people, they need to pay more for the things. So, what conflicts will be there? That's why we are telling the people to speak out so that this government should not sleep. So, the president should do what is best for this nation. That's what we're encouraging everyone. So to say free education is not needed in men, you're not finishing all of us. That is complaining, then you don't think very well. The issue has to be inside the government to make the right place. The issue of opposition to decide can you give us teachers? If you have that, eight years, just within a short period, we have two very interesting eight teachers, eight thousand. Is step by step. For me, as a national news chairman who represents these young people are being employed today, yes, I've said it's a bit of small number because we need to avoid Africa. But we need to appreciate this number because at least they will not stay for seven, ten years just waiting today, most of them are ready to wait. And we are saying those have been left, I'm going to wait because the president is available. Going to get that job as well. Not less than salary, not less. These are young people. We're expecting almost five salaries in hand. We're expecting almost 450 in ZAP. So these are the things which the young people are going to bring in. It is step by step. But despite that, hope you cannot get rich by getting a salary. Our MHM has encouraged the young people. Come up with corporate, come up with this uh, uh, limited companies because they understand that this nation to, 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 to develop 
bridge between the two and the two. And that's why now, if you have seen how across the country, in all the constituencies today, most of them are Muslim. Now, it's responsibility now of the government now to give now resources, loans, these people they are able to do their things and do their things in terms of agriculture. That's what they want to see. So these are the things now this government is trying to do. Yes, TDF has been prudent. It has been a lot of challenges for the driver. But again, the government is working with it. The young people and the women, the disabled people are able to access their needs. Hope you are aware that there has a lot of dropout, dropout in, in our nation, the 7, the 9, the 4. This government deliberate through the CDA 156 constituencies, a lot, 300, which cost to make 300, 200. They are doing courses for farming, to do with logging. These things are happening because these are the things which we're failing to do because job may be there, but people have no skills how to do logging. And this government, across all the constituencies today, they are doing that. Why is he doing that? Because we understand that five years from now, when CDF is given to you, in terms of infrastructure, within your constituency, you are able to do that job. So we realize that it is very important to empower this knowledge and skill to the young people in those constituencies. You will see that our members of parliament and councillors, these are the people now doing this job. It doesn't matter where you are coming from, any political party. The most important that thing that we as a team, as leaders, as a councillor, council chairman, mayor, MPs, is to ensure that within your constituencies, the people are empowered with skills so that they are able to participate in the development in the area. This is what this government is trying to do. Okay. That is an achievement on its own within a short period. So I'm saying these are small things which we have been done doing. We have made a lot of concepts. Mind you, we've been given the mandate for five years. Don't expect us to do all the, the promises that have been within a short period. No, it's step by step. All we're appealing to the young people, the youths, the women, everyone that continues to help us. But they're supporting us. We are not saying we should keep quiet. It is to check where we are failing as a party. The president where is failing. Because we may fail with someone, but it is you to remind us where we feel like we are doing wrong with him. That's why you are there. As our bosses, we are just the servants. We are servants. We really need to look at ourselves as servants. Because the bosses are those who give us the mandate from the top of us. Now, before we delve uh, further into issues affecting um, the young people in Zambia, you, Mr. Nisoloso, uh, you have been very busy visiting different parts of the country and obviously um, engaging the youth on, on, on different uh, matters. So obviously it's issues to do with employment, empowerment. So maybe tell us now, um, what messages are you taking with these young people when you visit these areas and how are they responding to the messages that you're taking to them? Yes, we, we expected, first of all, I'll tell you that what was on the mind we are seeing what our friend Piotr used to do, okay? Not knowing that he, even us, the youth everywhere, it is from the young nation, into how we will do the same. But not knowing that what Piotr did, what was doing with the same, it cost him in his affection. So to us now, it's about now mentoring our young people to understand that the bad habits which Piotr was doing, we should not do that. What are some of those bad habits? First of all, number one is stealing, doing things in short order. Okay? Taking more in short time. No, you don't do that. And these are the things which we have learned as a youth. And also, we as youths, and I'll, I'll be able to speak now, we, the European youth across the country, we have been denied an opportunity to participate in the development in terms of contract, in terms of employment. We remain, especially the 10 years of youth was bad for us. Even a short form, even today I just told you that many of our people chased in those last days of years have never come to work. When they want to go to get their shop, they run, they go to the minister, and the minister will listen to them. Even his own people suffered. And these people chased genuinely because they they, they, they belong to a high nation. And they kill them at the gates and stay. 
the day we are doing the same opportunity, where is our father? And now we ask the question that when we are fighting for the form government, we fight number one to develop the country. The masses should also be, be happy with the government, giving them work, everything. The second one, what we know is to become a chicken radio station. If you be member of a good lady, a good lady, any political party that's going to come, also to be happy. Mm. Okay? But many, many of them are going to say, if it is a busy, she's going to be happy. Supporting. So it is also so, now time for you to be <laughs> taking a bit from someone. Exactly. We are asking all the crowds to come and push us in the corner. We have spoken to people for communication. Well, that's exactly what I was about to say. Well, okay. We're going to get that contract. Yeah, that's what I'm uh, saying. We need to have everything the in place. Issue, the issue is, that's what I'm saying, that there are many things coming in the way. But what we are receiving, again, we are pushing the weak end away. As if we're not part and parcel. Think about us. That I was just, when I was saying with you, I could not be allowed. But today, now, I want to come and do my address. No, you're not needed here. Feel for us also. You remember that we could not take our children to school nice. Our children were being mocked when they go to those schools. But you want to say, no, you be here. No, we are saying not to eat. We are saying not to eat. We want to participate together with you. We don't want to be great, but we want to work with you. Give us a chance also that we participate in a little way. And we, have listened, and we have done whatever is needed. I don't deny that opportunity. I'm speaking on behalf of the youths and everybody. Because these things, especially the members, they don't feel it. So when we go around the country, we are mentoring each other and understand the governance and how government can. And the two expected things to change on their own. And we are at home. So these are the mistakes we have made. For me as a national chairman, it's very clear this radio station that in the, in, 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 in the one year, the mistake we made as a party, we felt the people change on their own. Not knowing that they are loyal to something else. So it's us now as a party to participate and check what is happening. We are a supervisor for those who are in government, our leaders. We, the party, we are a supervisor, so we need to participate. Because when there's no medicine in Kanyama Clinic, they will say UPND is failing. Today, a police officer will beat somebody. UPND is beating the blood device. So the party, the party name with the party UPND is the one people complain. Anything happens in this country, they will say UPND. That's why we, the members of UPND now, we need to stand up and check our police. Those have been appointed, even in the Together with our president, we could check our president, Padia, Kalubia, and Anything goes wrong, Agaide will be in it. Agaide will be in it. So we have a mandate as party leaders from a branch level to a national level. That's why we give respect to branches. So these are the owners of the party, are the ones who get the best information wherever they are. So that's why now when we are moving around, we educate each other. Certain vices we have got. Other they want to remain, they are stopping. So as you go around, you know, different parts of the country, what would you say are some of, uh, you know, the, the biggest challenges facing the young people in this country right now? Yeah, there is. We have seen the issue with the success. Kids who, that young people who have been us and help us. We have been to the employee. She was given the tenure years of fear. No one knew that fear is in but this government deliberately, it has given all the district, even sets us all the district. We talk about the recruitment of teachers, all the district. The recruitment of health workers, all the district. Why is Mr. Kalinga encouraging them? Number one, because they are not in this country. It's the only people who can work. You cannot be taking the people from Osaka to go to Shango to go to Ukiku. Shango to Go in Kim last year, up to Sowesi, up to Chagumi, you go and get the job there. When the people of Chagumi themselves are not from here to Jordan, up to Nakoni, you 
give you the coaches that you go to this is you go to China, you go to Chinese. Those coaches who are coaching these young people, they bring them to the world today. They are trained like comic books. They are not studies. They have no future for them. But the Jans, they are not playing with them. They are in the training for the issue. They came to this church to train with this company of young people who are in the college. So it's a spirit of asking that. What if you get out of the name of the client? I think a group of clients in the castle. That should be a place of knowledge also. How do we reach out to these people who are finally, who are becoming now criminals in the country? How do we stop them? What opportunities do we create for them? So we have a budget in that way. I don't want to, to say that we have done more to do, but that is one of the things we need to address as a nation. For me, as a national based chairman, that's why I'm going to put more effort to ensure that the summit in the country. When the summit is even in this Hey. Right now, let's take a look at um, uh, the, the cost of living in Zambia right now. Now, President Haka Nechema in his uh, inauguration speech um, assured that his government will ensure that citizens have uh, three meals a day. A day rather. Now, one year on, some Zambians can barely afford to have a meal in a day. So, do you think this is something that is achievable? It's achievable. That's why I have already said that it's achievable. There is no person who is not rich. Certain individuals are not rich for the government. Yes, and we think it has come with us, but in the process of going to action, I think we have seen that our president himself, first of all, is busy marketing this country and to ensure that the business companies can provide companies which many investors not even come to this country. We need genuine investors who are putting in the work of the government and who are putting in the effort and the responsibility to And I'll tell you this government is committed to obtuse me putting in my idea so that we will take over this issue. We know that. Not that we don't know, we know. But we need to create an environment here. As much as I'm Congolian I'm here. So we need everybody to get to work on that one. The work on that one collectively, all of us, is a step by step. I'm telling you, three years from now, this one year, but three years from now, the people will look behind to see what we have done. The challenges of the people, no one is not saying that we are really doing it. We are saying, but again, with another bad game, you give a name game for the show, the dialogue is only a one year ago. It was like they didn't put it in a step and get an opportunity every day. But this time, yes, we will put it in the chest back out of amounts. Especially in the past two months, I think we need to look at amounts. See in the Pamanga. I think we have seen that collectively as well. We we come to my team and get them the soil to Monsu. Kinanga, because we come on the yard one combo. We tried to say Mazura, Mazura, and she come on it with that's not yet coming soon. You know, that's where we understand this whole problem. We don't talk about inflation, it still is here. It's economy at one common in terms of it. We can't get this economy. That's not the economy. So I really understand this thing. But we told you that the common political accounts in the village economy. And again, we need to go back and check the process of things we did at the At this step, so the beach in the table of the Kabamba of Gore of Kumbuan. We need to check on what they're doing, but we find that it's Kangenam. But then the environment is back to the Hamas. Maybe we are doing something. All we want our people to be still to ensure that we can do it. Not only at the door, the Gore of Kumbuan is still there. But you know, it's a thing that, ah, ah, in 1922, the end of our past, we were in that. But by December, what was the Gram Kerry Quartz? Meaning we understand that things will be better for this. So hope we understand and we move with the people. No one is saying things to the level of the radio speaker. We all need to be chatted with them. But when you are done down about Kumbai, we are going to agree with them in this process of the demands. What is next? Please say today. We are going to casualization. I agree. Yeah. Yes. We are going to get to the next one. We are going to get to the next one. We are going to get to the next one. We are going to get to the next one. We are going to get to the next one. We are going to get to the next one. A security guard, but then the salary is not going to come out. Things are not, they are not looking good today. 
And this comes back to the ministry of prayer. That can you go around the country? Can you go around this country? Speak and check what people are complaining in the I'm speaking of the national news channel. And after talking this one day, I saw I'll be bumper to bumper with any minister of PS or any director who receives me in his job for circles on the day. You get information, you come to your head about them. These are the challenges which people are complaining in the country. And this was the dream for all of us at the next. Why are we doing that? Because we want to support our own community. He has to know what is happening in the ground. By your own, he has to know. The way we used to make it in opposition, we will have been voting in the Side to side with our president, to ensure that what is on the ground reaches him and then he implements it. There's nothing to hide to the president. You can go FIFA, you can go FIFA, you can go FIFA. You can be the white, and you can go back to the white. These are the things we have agreed, all of us in the list. The women to say that can we move side to side with our president to ensure that he delivers the policies and also what the people want on the ground. So I agree that these challenges are there, but the government is committed to ensure that there is clean news per day for everyone. But it's a process to ensure. That's why what we could do in one year, we are done. We are not saying that it is everything because it is a man. He chose us to ensure that we believe. And we know the hope of that the opposition cannot raise the meeting. It can never happen. Okay? It's simple. The politics in that. Okay? Or Tashitamushi, their job is to find him. That's why Kuzan is going to teach her. Wait, wait, wait. I have a few guys here and there. I mean, I can give a few examples of you know, where you are being condemned by the opposition and yeah. you know, you are being praised. But um, away from that, I think let's now touch on issues uh, to do with CDM. And if we have to talk, you know, employment, creation, empowerment, uh, this is another great tool. But there's issues surrounding CDF, issues to do with um, you know, disbursement. We've heard that the money is there, that it's accessing this money. What is your take on issues surrounding uh, CDF? We have 1,604 watts. 1,604. 604 watts. Mm. This possibility of the councillor together with the member of parliament is to make sure that indirectly we can get the future of the Every Every member of parliament, I don't think, would want his own people to suffer. He would want his own people to benefit from this. Unless the government can do it. But one month ago, in Copperwell, the president of the Federation, the member of the how do we give this money to the people so that to those projects they are able to benefit? Because each one may have 10 projects. That 10 projects may have different beneficiaries in terms of governments, in terms of villages, in terms of borrow, people are able to benefit. And also in terms of construction, because I was talking of Manga Agreement, Manga Teacher. Those are the things. Which that's why I find it more important is that the city of God has to work with us. It's to empower the people. And the whole idea of cooperatives. The idea of cooperatives is the same that people should contribute so that they participate in the government of this country. Because I can really understand that we cannot do it as individuals, but I can only do it with the people themselves who vote it. We need to do that. And my encouragement is that we should not get tired because it's the first time the history of this country that. 5.7 million is given to our citizens. It's the first time. So challenges may come because even those who have been given responsibility to stay the same man, they want to see things in a different way. If they can get any minister, tomorrow they may be followed by the process. So they want to say things are done before. But again, let's do a right thing. We cannot deny people to be given what's belongs to them because we are scared of this. So collectively, as a nation, let's do what is right. Together with the members of parliament, that our people are able to get this money. There's no way this is a second, we are going to a, a third court now. Why can't we do it for the people? Well, well you, can, you can get the money, you can you can come together, you can form that cooperation. And I know most of the times you politicians want to make it sound like uh, you know doing business is easy. 
it may not be that easy, especially for some if it's a first. So what messages are you taking to these people? How are you dealing with these beneficiaries of, of, of CDF to see to it that in as much as they will form these cooperatives, uh, they will be successful in their businesses? No, some will not, but some, that's what it's a process, because it's a new thing which is coming up. Why it takes me to Iran is promoting which could be very big. Because come to the other, that's where now power belongs. If you want to develop your country, it's to give you to your people to do. If they are able to do business, then you can't control. So Akainde believes that even in opposition, he told us, we want to have a, a lot of rich people, not only people in the but a lot of them. So it's a beginning that when you look about our political enemies in this country, for them to succeed like that they should, so they start as a team. That's how it is. It's commitment. Our colleagues in India, they start first as a cooperative and then they grow one by one that way. That's first of all way. That's why when Indians they bring their family to the government as a cooperative in this country. So even as we can achieve together, the issue here where we have a challenge as a nation, we are going to bring the country to hands as the first thing to do is in it. Handouts has been a living, not only the young, but everybody. So to change that mindset, the new UND has to have a personal heart. It can't support the people to change the government, to be sustained the government of the Philippines, and you to do it and talk about it every day. Because that's the way of living. Every new government trans gives you 200 kwacha, as a kaunga, no kaunga, and go away from you. Until another election. I need a reformer. What the people expect? 2026 comes at a end of us. I gave you that money. What did you think that's the deal? Not me asking him, but him asking. I gave you. What did you do the same money? That's why I'm encouraging a lot of women in this table that when a council approaches for a meeting, go and attend that meeting. When a member of parliament has called for a meeting, go and attend. Then, by the way, it comes from any political party, but go so that you are able to put your ideas on the table, which may benefit even that one who didn't have an idea to do business, but is able to try because of the people who knows how to do that business. That's my understanding, and that's the way we are moving with it. So I'm encouraging people to say, don't get tired, but let's continue pushing as a team to ensure that. This CDF is given political benefits. And going forward, we want also, if we can use it very well this year, we want next year in the CDF of Zambia to be increased so that many Zambia and the of are able to participate at the grassroots level. That's the only one we can do it. Because Alliance and the business here, we know what a business here over here and here. We know what a business in Yasabi. Come up with your own. The company has a team, and the government has to give you these resources through the CDF, through the SMEs. This is what you want to see. The issue is to now we may see, but we but have a nationalist chairman who is encouraging, who is reaching out, which is telling people to say, come up with this cooperative. Who can end up a bomb? I can't. Find those umbrellas, plumbers, electricians. How to take two teams of young people. They don't have any company, but these people they just do what they feel from there. And these are the people who are building these houses, the homes which we have, how that we are seeing today. They are the same people who are participating, coming up with these malls we are seeing in this country. So why can they come up with their own company today? And then they participate. And these they they're supporting the best people. In terms of any contract comes, those are the people who are performing, like here in Usaka. Even the DC office was there. But I will permit you. There's a contract to do this. And the first one will be given. As an example, these are the things we want to see. And we need to reach out to some people. Because that's what we have been seeing. People are coming from somewhere else. They are not given the opportunity. Why did you take one day of No one is cared about them to see if come to the cooperative. So we have told them that your president wants you to come up with the cooperative. And then you can go and participate. Because we are good builders. We have been doing this construction for a long time. 
Nina ni mbofu zako na kutoka wangu kana wangu kusukuru. Wei katika mbukulikamba. Kuziki mimi mbukulikamba. Kuziki mbukulikamba. Kuziki mbukulikamba. Kuziki mbukulikamba. This what we get. I'm telling you that this is what I'm saying. The issue of winning this contract is that we need our, our fair. We should be given some of the participate in what we want. We don't want to participate in the leaders because we want money to happen. We participate when we are on. But what is important is to give people a new goal and give us and we deliver at the right time. And we are able to do that because it's wrong combo. Nigeria is what? Those people are seeing they are able to win 66. Because we are used. Because we fear that we can destroy this thing. Okay. Let's move on to the uh, the next item. Let's look at Kagarism and violence. I know um, when we just started, you, you briefly touched on it, but you know there's quite a number of issues that we need to look at here. Now, um, coming into government, obviously we had the president's announcements um, touching strongly on issues to do with Kagarism, violence public places, especially markets, bus stations, and, you know, obviously you were praised um, as the new born by many Zambians for that. But unfortunately right now, what we're seeing is something else again. Pockets of violence here and there. Uh, Kagas are back from attacks of civil, uh, civil servants, um, uh, threatening members of parliament, and in some cases, sharing land. Um, we can give cases of Kamwana South. We can give so many examples of what happened at the Dev's office. And also, maybe we can also touch on um, what happened at Mulangilio Clinic involving uh, Mr. Malangi. So, what are you doing as a party, really? And were you honest when, when, when you told the Zambian people, we do not like this ill, we do not want to see Kagarism in this country? Were you honest about that when you told the Zambians? We are still honest to you, Madam. There is no Kagarism. Kagarism is in the institutions. Not to be Kadarism is an institution. Okay, what do you mean when you say Kadarism is still in the police? I'm going to be very clear here. Kadarism is still in the police. There. Kadarism is still in the judicial. There. Kadarism is there in the local government, the council, there and there. Kadarism is there. That's why there's a lot of Kadarism. Not in these areas. The party you've been has tried very well. The SG, the chairman of the party. Position chairman, as we have managed to move one cadres to the markets, bus station. But those in government have failed to make to move cadres. And the only way they move those cadres, their fellow cadres, the other side, they look at them and they say, What is this to do with that one? It needs to be done. I'll give an example, which I'll mention the issue of debt. You go to Kafio, those who teach school in 2014. When they go to Debs, when they go to Debs, they go there and chase them. They go there and chase them. They want to pay them. Okay? And then, they want to pay them. 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 That's the Debs are official. Okay. Three days, I'm going to go to Debs. I'm going to pay them. I'm going to pay them. So what do they do? Let's go back to the end. This week is fine. There's a monitor. Polling agent wins an election. After winning an election now, if you don't for everybody, it's okay. There's a community of teachers. The same person who used to deny them a job, Farist Dawa, was in one of the Farist. Even one should not see that because he knows you as a guard of the PA, as a civil servant, what would be in the mind of that person? Who will be left? He sees you to be the one that's not supposed to be done. So that goes to use of education now. That even now it is a time. The issue of uh, saying our animal pays off in countries, we are just doing anarchy in the country. Because those who fought with you for the qualification and everything, that see the same person used to torture them. Even today, again, I say, Mubuti, so we are creating now violence. Oh, we are creating what? Instead of encouraging others, we are pushing our Serenza, so we need to also to support, to support our PA program in Sanchi. Why? Sometimes small and very very small and very abuse. But if we are going to show that arrogance from there, we have 
faith had in him. Even when you should have seen, but because the way you have answered him, you are not here. So for me, the issue of appeal, he intervened about it, and you know the reason why it is appealed. That's what I'm saying. From the beginning, in the one year, the mistake we have made as a party, we thought the people of change on their own. Instead of us reaching out, we should have been put correct people in those positions. So the issue of violence, in the small instances, we took an appellation. Kada we pinned as a the red. Minsal Chikuru so as a the red. One of us are put on me, Jerry, woman should not pass away from you. The issue of Honorable Maran, I think I was very clear. And that's what I'm saying. That's my view. I think I told everybody, whatever same rules used to do that. In number one, the Kapil rules were used to do that. Those in Mundazi, those were you behave. I'm not, I'm not going to come to this radio station to deny people who do to be when they have done So something. you are de identifying the people who When they have done wrong, me, oh, I'm not here to kiss people. This is life of every human being. We fought for this. We've gone through this all of us. We almost killed some of us. We understand that we need to save the people of some. But what we don't want again is that those who tortured us, they should not be on forefront again to promote violence. No. Even in this market, when I'm the one preaching peace, we understand that. It is you who are saying that I can with you. If today we want to say, but what we are wearing down, there will be chaos. We can do that. Oh, that's what we want. We can do that. But once we are must we will must stand young ones. But again, allow your colleagues also in the Rugat Bali. No fish. Am I telling you? No. So no fish. When I end up five years, after I end up, we have not shop here in this market. Hector at there at a town center. Jacob Mutong, I always read you Mutong, who doesn't know? The Amira Masira Commissioner, they know the issue of you Mutong. He's on Panya every day. Who doesn't know the story of Jacob Mutong? And you want to treat him as if now he's a bad person? No, understand the pain because he's on Panya, he's a toilet, he's on Panya. But we leaders, you know, we have convinced Jacob to say, stay away with your people. Bring people all together. But you be able to go and provoke him. Don't go and provoke him. No, don't do that. Because now, when he's going to hit you back, no, Akadas I am. No, don't do that to us. This I'm asking to the opposition. Don't do that to us. You should appreciate that this violence itself, itself, we have managed it all. But to look at one on one, when you know there's violence, we go there and come the situation. We do that. It's normal. Not everybody will say, when I want to walk here for Peter, so I want to be a girl. I'm going to be you. I'm going to touch her. So it takes us leaders to go out to such places when we have a person. No, no, no. The president says this, this, and this, and this. And you tell you, no, 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 president. I'm very happy you touched on that because I was about to bring up that issue. I mean, if you are a leader in the party, uh, leading a very big group, you know, if we have to look at the youth right now, and there are times when, you know, Zambians have felt. You, as Mr. Liswamuso, has issued a very clear statement. I'll give one example. I think uh, it, it had to do with, at a time when there were insults, you know, that were uh, poured on the president, and uh, you issued a statement saying you will have to deal with anyone insulting the president. Yes. And it, it, it's the use of that was there. Let, let what me did you mean let, you let, let me, let me tell you will deal with whoever is insulting the president? That life we live in, 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 in fear. Without you give it inside. They call it criticism, not to be. I've been watching. I just told a lady, ask me to come. I gave an example to say, what is the elder brother that I can say to you? Can I give a source of safety to him? Or I do it through that man? That was a question I questioned every 
If that's the way you want it, I think you can say it. So you open up to God. You invite him to have you. Because even when you go, or you want to have a new one, you have to go. You have to go. So there's no more. There's a statement that you just create. And the two, it was a duty of the police. We got to go. We want the UPA to go and report. No. There are certain things where by the police are just there to do this. That's your job. And for that, I said, the idea, let me down. To remember, I said, the idea, as an individual person, go in that position. By such insult, do not wait for UPA to go and report. Because now, one, the UPN took the role into your hands to go and report. If you have never done, you still ask them about the person. We can't do that. Because oh, there's been issues surrounding that, you know, some feeling of this, yes. you know, it's out, no, no, um, no, no, mapping no, no. that, no. yes, it's not Can I use mapping as an elderly person? Oh, no. I ask that question. Mapping that is an elderly person who is the one who is. That is my mistake. Not really that was all. I spend my time on it. No, no, that's why I'm just saying, because I understand. Mapinda, wherever there's Mapinda everywhere in the country, we don't use Mapinda for an elderly person. We use Mapinda for young people and teaching them how to support them. So the issue is, he was wrong. I could see even by then, by the, I believe by then, by the acting uh, president of the PM, he has said, yes, it's not in South, but let's criticize. I've said, criticize your police government. Do it. How do you think you're responding to criticism? Well, we are okay. We are, we are listening, we are watching. I think uh, I was one of the last point and said the police should not come to arrest people anyhow. Because the more you are arresting people anyhow, you are creating another political party. I'm a politician in Rwanda. We must strategize and we must reach out to the How do you reach out to us people? Mm -hmm. So we can create sympathy. So you need to know to play the game. And me, I'm playing the game with my team. My provincial use chairman, all of us are playing the game. We understand politics of the opposition very well. Okay. And that's we why have to get back to language and so the language. We're, we're focusing on that right now. I think if we can also go back to that solo protest by uh Tishala Kateka, I think you remember that as well. And I think you, you also remember what you know William Banda said and the reactions that came with that and just how uh, people felt, you know, what he said was in a way insulting. Um I mean, did you respond to that as the UPN? Did you deal with that? Let, let me tell you. Let me No matter how you're going to justify it, it's a wrong thing, it's a wrong thing. If it's a good thing, it's a good thing. I think hope you are getting right through. The issue is, can we for once as the other group focus on the things we need to say? Collectively, all of us, either us in government or in opposition. Because one, we are one people, this is our country government, all of us. You have heard the president was very clear that I listen, I watch, I follow whatever is happening in the nation. But when you are criticizing, I'll pick what is best for this nation. We want to use the fighting as the team. We won't use force to other. No. And that's what we are doing today. And that message is reaching out to each and every individual within our party to behave the way the president is doing. But as a good soldiers of the party, we won't allow anyone in the South direct insult to the president and then the national is chairman is watching. So we are one who says we are in a country with laws and we yes, should use yes, the right procedures. Yes, even if someone will defame or insult no, the president. No, no, the law is there. Yes. I'm saying, number one hope, we need to bear with this thing. We need to understand that you are dealing with a youth who has been tortured who was killed in Nepal, okay? And this is the youth which we are trying by all means as a nation to bring them in order to live like anybody else. And this is also a youth who should understand that you can't take the law into your own hands. Let me tell you, mm -hmm. let me tell you this, you need to understand this, because it's for everybody. If these youths are using the news, they have just become careless, they will regret a lot. They will disturb the peace and the unity which we are trying to build. So we are helping the president Collectively, all of us, let him focus on the bigger things. Things which are able to be avoided, let's avoid them. The use of UPA that was said that they are killing people. That is a fact. I don't, I'm not going to come here to come and lie to you. But help me also as a national chairman that 
when your hero takes a diocese, which is nice because what? You have a youth who was a peer whom you used to send to go and meet them. Think about him. He has been doing this before. You who have been sending him, you have never been go back to say, we are not taking the FBI. It's me and the team, the district of students, who is coming with situation on the ground. So now you are making my life difficult. That when there's any issue there, they used to say, so I was a very good, dumb DD, what no more leaders have us for us. Have you seen it? So I'm appealing. But I'm even a, as you talk, yes. it's also for these young people, the youth, those who may have, you know, supported the party strongly, and right now they did not get those jobs and they feel, you know, this is also a time. Are you also telling them that, listen, Zambia is not about who voted for President Naka and Chema, and he is not a president of the UPND alone. He I is the president think, for regardless. I think, Are you taking that message to them? I think I've said it yeah, mm. for something which I was trying to ask Zambian people that we know that the masses, Zambian people, are the one who have given this opportunity to this country. We know that. But as a political party, we do know that we suffered for this. We put this party where it belongs to. We know that. Even as we say, we are asking for crowns. Meaning the message on the ground, we know that when you are fighting for struggle to form one, hope, there's a message we use, all political parties, especially I know political parties to wear a passport of politics, it's here and we do it. Okay? We say, in my father's home, there are many rooms. Okay? That's the message. Today, the opposition is the way they are using for them to campaign. But tomorrow, hope, in the DC, the chief persuasion of this. You get to the point, these are promises we make ourselves that we are going to leave this country one day. So even us, we are saying, let's give the masses. And we have seen the recruitment of the political teachers. If really it was for you being here, I could not see those youths in Kapil can demonstrate if it was for us. I could not see the issue of CDF, but the youth in, in Mundazi, they are able to throw the votes for Kassel, because they were denied all of them. So what we are saying now to say, we are appealing now to you, Zambian people, that nice by UPND. Or to do be rap, to pass any call in nice, Mr. Titani. Because when we are fighting, we expected that that life is a thing for us to even waste. One, our children could not even enjoy it in government. We could not go even the offices of these people. We could, were not allowed. We were being chased. That is a fact. The same secretary we have today, and the same secretary also the picture again. Okay. No, these are the things we should understand what we are crying for also. It's mm -hmm. that nice talk to my opportunities. What pass up? What pass up? Turn to the All right, Mr. Lesone, so uh, we'll have to get to the phone lines now. And in case you're just joining us, this is the Hot Seat Radio Program. And our guest uh, this morning is UPND National Chairperson, Gilbert Lesone. So the phone lines are officially open. You can give us a call at 974 870 for your contributions on the hot seat this morning. Hello, good morning. Take in more calls uh, before he can continue to respond. If you have any questions or contributions this morning, give us a call. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Your name again? All right, if you can just speak up, go on. Okay. okay, thank you so much. All right, so the number to dial this morning on the hot seat is 
870-8771. We are also live um, on Puto FM, which is 93.3 in Osaka, as well as Kamele FM 97.7 in Lundas. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Yes, good morning, madam. Fine, thanks. Your name? Good morning, my boss. Good morning. All right, your name? All right, call me with your contribution. Okay. Uh, Mr. Richland, so how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm fine. Uh, you are speaking very well. Uh, let me begin by first of all congratulating you on the way you are articulating issues regarding the policy of the UPNP and how you put to your page of this country. However, my concern is on the you uh, not really being truthful about the issue of country. Mr. Adesone, so far, I think we get your questions. Uh, let's allow him to respond. Thank you. All right, thank you so much. I think we can come in there now. Thank you very much, Mr. Jensen. I'll be very clear. I will tell you, in fact, you have mentioned some business. You would be one to say that it's April that this to happen. James, you know that the board is going to start the day. Under your government, under the very view that is the government, even a key order to take you in the flights. That means the people of the member of the station of the member of the intercity is a court. And the accused has made that today is no longer there. Now, I want to advise. And uh, this, this message is very clear to supporters of you. Because me, I know you. One, there's no remorse in you. Arrogance. Is that what you mean for the unfamiliar? Why do you say arrogance to members of your group? We have given you freedom. I've told you that even the day we go to town, we free. Most of our members are free. I'm never going back to them. Whom you chased? You were told, Ms. Abu and Allah. That's a message, Mr. President. They have never given you hundred and twenty dollars. They have never. They have said you can. But those who used to put food, they have gone down their family the way. Others will leave them, will leave the journey with the children as well. You cannot. James, I want to tell you that the wives of the people, the brutalizing people in town, have been coming to my house, crying. And they have intervened with my team, with the provincial chairman, and here in Osaka. It's not only here, every province my provincial chairman has done that. Coming crying to say, please, I think we have now another better one out. We have done that. Instead of taking me to the police, we have done that. Now, simple thing. Because you, when you cry, you rush to go to Garibo. Do you know what you have been doing? Denying the space of you being you cry. That's what I've said. Kadarizim is no longer in you things. It is in special. The one mistake which we make as to, as which we need at cream in the post. Because when things go wrong, it's no BND. The, the, the issue of having sympathy with individuals who have no remorse, not thinking very well, run together with us. How do you keep them? For me, 
For me, I've tried my best to be a team. We have tried our best. Okay. Somebody tell me to say this one. Let me tell you, there are people today, even in these institution officers, who have perceived the UPMA. We have been transparent, we have been tortured. Even today, they're speaking in both today. So these are the things which this young man is seeing different. So he's, he's stopping every day to right. ensure that that is Let's just take in more calls. Let's hear uh, what they have to say. Hello, good morning. Okay. Okay, it's for me. Yeah, right there. All right, we're taking more calls. Uh, 0974-870-877. Hello, good morning. Uh, hello, good morning. Bueno, okay. Was that a your volume called Radio Yanni? This is the Hot Set Radio Program for your comments, your questions, contributions. You can come through on that line. Hello? Sometimes come with rushes, but I'm saying direct is not needed. 
we need to stop it because now we are putting the good foundation on this mission. We are not saying that you can have the power forever. No, not one day. But we need to set up now a system which all the government will come on board. And this is the way it's supposed to be for us. Then back to my colleague that we don't do anything. That's why I think we are supporting people to do it. Because I think you know the things. People could not speak free. I've given these examples already. You could not speak even within your house to talk about school because you know that three, four, five members, there are a lot of young people that you speak Hebrew about here, they come and beat you. Even protesting, you will steer us in this country. Sina Maminu Moiz Otai, maybe the one who is okay at that time. But now, on the reality, man, the issue, that was not the life, that was not politics. The 10 years of fear, that was not politics, that was criminality, that was evil itself. So we don't want to see the opposite go to us, we don't show ourselves. By doing that, meaning it will be just the same. Okay, that means that chain we promoted, it's not there. So we are trying by only to ensure that the freedom itself has to be. You know how many radio stations we attack? We don't think to see that. When we pass such a situation among our needs, we send them back. We have no choice just to leave Mona, to have no PNG with the government. That's why we have a PNC. That's the way we are dealing with those matters. That's how we do all the things which are said. In town, to say violence, there's no station. No, let's stop and wait. Wait with your police. There's a branch in these areas. Follow the rule of law, which you are going to find for station. Now, when the Senate Lama Sawyer and our PA, this time, the leadership which is there, follow what they're telling you to do. That's what we're going to do. And no one is forcing anybody. I want to say that even in my when to do some more, no one is forcing anybody to go in the same way. No. But in our own fish, 20 points of beer, after that period, we have no choice. We have to go for this. That one, I'm left free. But again, criminals are saying, don't go back. Stay home because they will reach on you. You know that you used to beat too much people. For me, meantime, stay out of those places. So I can't go in the chat because it's a very important thing. We do our work. We have already asked that thing to, to our leaders, to our young people on the ground, don't attack that one. We have mentioned their name because the ones have come with the truth and crime. And we have listened. You can only say that, say, you can never listen. We know when a woman cries and the children, then you need to listen. Yes, otherwise, no matter how somebody has done, it was just an act of leadership. Leadership is not a scattered in the It's about doing people how to talk. We have done that. Where these youths, they are leaders in fear. They have never been going to live this. That's why I don't have found this much. So for me, what I'm asking my colleagues, especially those of you, we know sometimes it's good. To say so in some sometimes it's good. I'm not saying to come and join me here. I can say go oh, this and do this thing. I have freedom. You can do your business. Do it because you are loved by them. And you've been identified by your colleagues. The better of doing things, to say so to your colleagues. Because we move together all of us. If we wanted, most of the people would have been jailed here. But those who means well, they were criminals, but they have come back to say, Look at, I think we were wrong. Now, they are asking you to forgive us. We have done that. It's not an easy thing to do. We became unpopular as a nation this chairman by maintaining this peace for the sake of this time. We became unpopular among my fellow Muslim leaders. But the bigger picture is that we should not scatter people, that we should bring people all together, that all of us will see things soon. And we have achieved. And I want to see this going forward. Let's continue. Let's engage each other. I know in the quarrel, but what is important? Let's talk. Let's dialogue. Let's concern. We move forward in that way. The opposition have seen me. I've said, you speak. Other people, they call me in opposition. Sometimes I need to. I tell them. I have no problem, you speak your language. But don't insult. That's what I'm telling you. Don't insult. I'll not be there. They were mentioned to go the youths. Even in time, it's the other thing that is. There's a ponoka there. Oh, there's a ponoka. Papa Boy, Papa Lady, there's a ponoka. 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 There's a ponoka
No, no, no. Ah, me, I'm just telling you what we're going, going to show. But at the end of the day, we don't want to go through that. That's why we're encouraging the population that this environment you have, where we have been given an opportunity even to go to Kanyama and organize the political party. You speak to your people, get information from the people on the ground. And that information come up to the party UPND. And the UPND should deliver from what you are saying. I think by doing that, all of us, it will be okay. If there is super meaning, it's for everybody, all of us will be. So go and listen to the people. Wakwa misses. Wakula mapame. Wakula babo mimi. That's the information I want to hear coming on the ground. I'm an European. Never to come away and join the other side. Next Wednesday. Next Wednesday, everybody. All right, now before we uh, take in the last set of calls, Mr. Lisconiso, I need to throw in this issue. Now, the Constitutional Court um, has nullified the election of Kamushi MP uh, Oma Lusambo and uh, Kwacha counterpart Joel Malanji on account of electoral malpractice and failure to have a valid. Uh, your your certificate. What is your, uh, your take on this? What's your comment on this? I think one of us, I can tell you, following the following rule that we do not, okay, do not have any certificate of election. But it's also a reminder to us today the suit of this Keep on telling that we are not going to just not come to this power, just use it in a good way to send the people to it. We won't be here for long. We can be in power even for four to one year time. But coming out, we should not interfere and do what is right in the eyes of the people. Because it's in the eyes of the So it's a lesson learned for all of us. Wishing all the best to those who have been deprived of the government. We are going to Kabushi to work in any peaceful manner. The people of Kabushi to their own means of power. We're not trying to force them, but we're putting the message either to the opposition or to the ruling party. We need to show that the people and the nation can do our politics, not by insulting each other, not by beating each other on the heads, but for me, what we have done in one way, we are able to speak in the Constitution of the that we need to listen. So we need the party to be coming together. If we're going to use violence to speak that into the middle of the why? There's nothing to that because we know as we do it that if we need the police violence, they have got to be used because they are people to defend ourselves and to ensure that we face them people want to change and they want to be So violence to the members of the UPN is still away from us. Stay away from it because it does not bring any result, good result to the people. It just brings anarchy, it just brings <coughs> so to us. I've learned a lot and hope I'll tell you that with my colleagues always see the parts being best for the people. Before I do anything best, I look up to the intelligence. In which I should I use now? What are people saying on the ground? That's why we continue to continue to myself. We can discuss as a police station, I go to some other it's before what people are saying. In a bus, I go to Matel, I go to Mumbaru, I want to see what are people saying on the ground. It's very sweet to see how people are coming up. And uh, that day I was even joking with the husband child. Yeah. That they soon they don't come go do. Then he looked at me. Chama new bus. They look how people are discussing this thing. Chama the PM said soon after that. Because you don't know what you are getting this country. Certain things we do like this. But you listen to them. And I listen to their submissions. Others with bitterness, with us with calmness, was able to tell them, when you speak, I'm hearing. Yes, it's fine, 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 it's
That's the way we want to do business. And Mr. Desmineso, let's take in a few more calls uh, before we wrap up. Hello, good morning. Taking two more calls before we wrap up. Zero nine seven four eight seven zero eight seven seven. Hello, good morning. Yes, good morning. Good morning. My name is Justin. Justin, all right, come Yes, is that Donato? Yes, it is. Okay. Uh, good job. Uh, what is your name? We are your boss. Okay. All right, so we'll, we'll take in uh, the last call and we can allow Mr. Spencer uh, to respond. Hello, good morning. Good morning, thanks.
Meaning by being that you are helping the nation, you are helping the people. That's it, that's what All right. Well, Mr. Iswamiso, thank you so much for coming through this morning. And uh, all the best as you continue going around the country uh, engaging the young people. I know well, this, has been, uh, this is not the last we're seeing of you on the hot seat of ours. Thank you so much for, for your time today. All right, so that's it for Tuesday's edition of the Hot Seat Radio Program. And uh, today's guest was UPND National Youth Chairperson Gilbert Deswamiso.